So here's the supplies that you have ready. Um, in order, you're going to need, after you wash your hands, you get your alcohol swab, a rinsia injection, and you got to put either a gauze or a tissue or cotton ball, and then your Band-Aid. And I did want to mention that this little manual that comes with it is super helpful, has a whole bunch of step-by-step -step directions. So I'm not going to go through every single one of the pointers here. Um, that's If you're on a rinser, you're going to have this. What I'm mostly going to just show you is what it's actually like as a patient. So as I mentioned, you have your four materials. And so this is actually where I normally do my injection. I don't kind of set the lighting up perfectly. You have to open the alcohol wipe in this case, and then you figure out what spot you want to do. You do rotate the spots, either going to be your belly or your thigh if you're doing it yourself. Um, if you're having someone else do it for you, you could also do the upper arm. But um, So like in this case, I'm going to do the alcohol swab. I, I, I measure things by my freckles. So I like to figure out, okay, there's these two freckles, and if I did it really close to this freckle last time, I want to kind of rotate it towards the front. So I get it ready, and then... Um, I get the actual um, syringe. Take the top off and put that to the side and then you get ready. And I actually usually have some mood music on at this point, like something that kind of makes me happy, like maybe something from Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton. But, oh, Hamilton. that's Charlie <laughs> in the background. Okay, so anyway, you want to angle the Orencia at about a 45 degree angle, which they have great pictures of. Plenty um, of and I'm going to try to do this so that you guys can see. And so I, you push it in. Honestly, I barely feel it myself. It's a very small needle. Now, the hard part for a lot of patients is pushing down um, because their thumb might hurt or their finger might hurt. So sometimes I actually change the angle so that I'm, I cover the whole thing with my palm and push in. I'll have to get a picture of that later to show you. But just so you can kind of see what it, normally what you're kind of quote unquote supposed to do is push it down with your thumb like this. Um, but you can, again, if your thumb really hurts, you can put, you can reposition it. I can see now that you guys can't see this, but you make it so that the palm of your hand basically pushes down. So I'm doing a mixture of that, push it all the way down so you can feel that it's done and then it just retracts back up. And then you get your little gauze or whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a little shadow here. And then press down on. I usually press down it with one hand while I get the bandaid open. Or you could like totally be prepared and get the bandaid before. And this is a handy waterproof bandaid, but again, it's not going to be profusely bleeding or anything. So then you just stick the bandaid on. And you go on your merry way. And that's how you do an Arensia injection. So that's how I do mine, I should say. Different people have their own techniques. So um, the syringe, after it's been used, they've designed it really nicely so that it, it kind of retracts the needle so you can't accidentally poke yourself very easily. And you want to, of course, get rid of this in a sharps container. So. This is Cheryl with Arthritis Life, and that was me giving myself my Rincia injection. And be sure to subscribe! Okay.